Hey, what's up, guys? Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sertici here. All right, so yesterday we did the video where we filleted up the flounder and ate it with the oysters and stuff, which was great. However, I hid something from y'all. And what it was was we actually found our flounder to have these black spots in them. So I'm sitting there. I'm like, what are these? You know, with uh, all the oil dumps that we've had in the Gulf of Mexico and, and all the stuff, you know, with the dumping of you know chemicals into our waters and stuff like that and you know it just got me thinking i'm like okay what are these you know so we stopped there for a minute you know i'm finding this one specific flounder had him you know in the um it was in the lining of his of his stomach area and inside the meat so you know I, i'm cutting around it and i start pulling it out and it kind of turns to mush and i'm like okay so what is this so, with a little bit of research, we have found out what it is. Do you know what it is? Got you. Yeah. Got a fire. Got a fire. Yeah. Yeah. I think I got a fire. Got a lot of stress on my mind. It's a nice day to go. Yeah, I got a line. I'm a caller. The whole team. They are sharp, 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 sharp. Nice. Man, that, that knife barely touched me. And I already got <laughs> poisoned the food. Y'all ever seen that? Just pulled the black spot out of the flounder. It's a flea. Look, there's another one there. Another one there. You ever seen that? You ever seen that? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So with a little bit of research, we found out that it's called black spot disease. It's normally observed in rock bass, sunfish, bass, pike, perch, minnows, and other species. Um, usually the black spots are the size of a pea or a pinhead, and it's found in the skin, the fins, the musculature, and the mouth of the fish. Now what it is, is it's a type of disease that is hard to say, but I'm going to put the name up here in just a minute, or fluke disease. It's in freshwater disease that it's a flatworm larva that leaves the genus nucleus, or I'm going to put that word up there too, and appears as tiny black spots. Um, after they leave the snails, they bury into the fish and form a cyst is basically what ends up happening. Now, my question was, okay, we know what it is, but is it, you know, dangerous to human consumption? So that was my next question. 
So, with that one, even though they look undesirable to eat and stuff like that, when you do cook the fish, it destroys the parasite. And uh, the flavor of the fish is not altered in any way. And what the main question was, well, I mean, okay, what if we don't, uh, you know, pull them out? You know, will it uh, affect humans? And these uh, parasites are incapable of infecting humans. So that was a good thing. And that's why we kept eating because... For one, I didn't want to throw away a whole flounder fillet because, you know, we found those black spots. And you can also see right there in that middle fillet that's kind of off to the left that looks whiter. There's another black spot in that one as well. So, you know, this was something that stopped us yesterday. But also, too, after we did research while I was still filleting the fish, we found this out. So we kept going on. And trust me, that fish was good. And yes, it, it like I said, it you know it send up some red flags at first and stuff like that. But it's kind of the same thing as you know uh, eating drum and other fish that have worms. Once you have cooked the meat, it has destroyed the parasite. So no worries there, guys. But yeah, still I, I cut them out. That was just me though. I didn't didn't really want to eat uh, the fillet knowing a little black spot was in there and or you know it just yeah sorry that's me all right guys i hope you enjoyed the video and uh hope it didn't gross you out too much but this is stuff that we run into and we will learn and share and like i said it was the first time i'd ever seen it and i mean i've probably filleted a good several hundred flounder in my lifetime uh and had never seen that before so you know this is something that's pretty cool to learn and share all right guys y'all have a good one